you know, in this cabaret world in, in New York and in Palm Springs and LA and, and overseas. Oh my goodness. Hold on. <laughs> One second. I'm sorry. <laughs> One second. I'm sorry. I it hit the wrong thing and I'm going to. Sorry. I'm sorry, Stephen. All right. In this cabaret world, we have seen some amazing performers and there have been performers that have lived on and their legacies have lived on and they're amazing. And I have heard and seen and talked about people who have seen Simply Barbara. I love Barbara. I'm obsessed with Barbara. And Steven Brimberg has taken this idea and created it into something amazing. Steven, welcome to the round table. Thank you. How in the world did this come about and did you know it was gonna last as long as it has? No, I didn't. I mean, I when I first started doing it, I just sort of booked four shows to see what would happen. And I've been doing it ever since. That was so many years ago, I can't even tell you. <laughs> I, I get it. So when, when did you fall in love with the, the Babs? You know, pretty much as far back as I can remember, though I, my real obsession began, I would say, with Funny Lady. You know, that's the one I remember seeing most in the theater. Um, crawled out of my crib to go and see it. Um, and that was just like everything to me because, you know, she was in almost every scene and she was so glamorous and singing all this great music. And and of course, then I would go back and I would start buying all each week another one of her albums, the older ones, you know, that I didn't have. Sure. And um, it's just amazing. Well, I remember the funny lady. I, I remember renting it at the Palmer Video in Richfield Park, New Jersey. I'm sure we could all, we all can remember the moments we fell in love and found Babs. And Thank you doing the show, putting the show together. Can you tell people what do we see when we go to this show? What is a Simply Barbara show like? Well, the shows are always um, changing. You know, whatever's happening to her ends up in the show. You know, when she has a new movie, a new album, in this case, a new book. And this show, a lot of it is celebrating 40 years of Yentl. So I'm telling all these stories about the making of the film, some of which are true, some of which I've sort of invented, as is my, my, what, I, what I sort of do anyway in my act. Um, and then, of course, any show that I do, no matter what the theme is, I'm still going to sing The Way We Were and People. And just like she couldn't get away with doing a show without those I can't either. So like it's it's also 50 years of the way we were. It's 60 years since her first album. It's a big milestone year. But well, Yentl is really the, the big one. We know the, the memoir, My Name is Barbara, is coming out. I'm sure you'll be yeah. checking it out. Oh my <laughs> God, yeah, I'll have it with me. And I'll I, as I've been joking, if anybody wants me to sign one, I will. <laughs> And and 40 years of Yentl. So when you think of Yentl and you think of this show, which is coming to 54 Below, by the way, at New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Tri-State area, make sure you come and see it on Wednesday, November 8th. You doing Yentl. So we're going to maybe hear a little, Papa, can you hear me? A little. Oh, yeah. The way style. he makes me feel. A cut song that's called The Moon and I, which is very beautiful. So um, how many songs do you know of her that you can pull out of your bag of tricks? Oh, Hundreds and hundreds. I mean, I ha again, I have enough material to just do a different show every night. I mean, I just came back from England and we were in nine different, we did nine shows and we did like three different programs depending on where we were. Like some places were regular theaters and we had to have an intermission. So I did a lot of the Yentl stuff, but not all of it. And then I dug up some old things. And then in one place, we just did the Yentl the main Yentl show. And then, you know, there's just so much to choose from, from her catalog. I still have a list of songs that she's done that I've never done, as well as I always like to do songs that she has not recorded. And I imagine how they might be. And, and on more than one occasion, I sang it and then she recorded it. And it was almost note for note what I imagined. I think the one I'm thinking of mostly is losing my mind. Which is uh, a, killer song it's beautiful yeah. and it took forever till she finally did it but so i was doing it way before <laughs> you better tell the people steven when people come see the show they need to know that it's live music it's live music i'm really singing and i'll be all dressed up dolled up 
like Barbara. Dolled up like Barbara. <laughs> and this is not some lip sync show where you're just up there in a gown. You no. are singing. I'm singing live. And I even, as in most of my shows, I throw in other bits of other voices, you know, from Julie Andrews and Cher to Eve Montand and Anthony Newley and Cleo Lane. And it, one or all of those end up making a cameo in most of my shows. And is there a certain, we, we know the answer to this, but the way to find her voice, how did you find your interpretation of her voice and sound? Well, you know, I always listen to her and, and everybody that I listen to, I just naturally sang along to those recordings in the voice of the person I was listening to. It didn't even occur to me to say, okay, I'm going to try and sound like them. I would just sing along with them as them. Got and, it. You know, and then I put it on tape one day and my dad found it and the rest is history. <laughs> 54below.org to get your tickets November 8th. Like we were saying, November 8th, you can get check out the show. And if you're not in this area, maybe you are, you know, in London or Palm Springs or wherever else you're going to be. San going Diego, to Christmas Day. <laughs> San Diego on Christmas Day with Barbara. And Go Chinese food. <laughs> Simply Barbara. That's B-A-R-B-R-A dot com. You can find out the whole scoop and information. Have you ever heard her thoughts? Do you know? Any? Well, I pretty much know and have met almost everybody connected to her. And she's well aware of me and that I'm a huge fan. And it's all done with love and affection. And, you know, when her best friend had a 60th birthday, Donna Karen, Barbara couldn't come. And her manager hired me and I sang in her place. And she actually directed my performance through her director, Richard J. Alexander. So she told me what to say and it was pretty, pretty cool. So now all I need is just to do a duet with her. That's my dream. It's happened. It's going to happen. I'm putting it out there with you. Thank you. You have, <laughs> you have performed in for events with people like Joan Rivers, Catherine Zeta Jones, Liza Minnelli, et cetera. Do you ever do shows as just Steven? Well, once in a while, I'll still do that. And I have one version of the Barber show where there's an intermission and I come back in the second half having taken off all the makeup and then I can talk about being doing Barbara and stuff like that. And that's what I used to do in all the shows I did with Marvin Hamlish. You know, we toured the country for like 11 years and I would come out as Barbara. He would banter with me and then he would have me come back at the very end looking like myself and be like, who's that? Who are you? You know, cause nobody can sort of place this with, with right. You know, all of that. Yes. So <laughs> just an ordinary man. And then once I, become her it's like oh wow who am i <laughs> you have a pretty special guest with you coming up at 54 below can you tell us what does the guest role in this you have you have ezekiel andrew yes and he's a wonderful singer and actor and i always have somebody who sings a duet with barbara and they sing a song on their own and i think we may still have some more uh another guest to to be announced well so it's always sort of fun you got to get your tickets. Ezekiel, you may have seen him in The Lion King and uh, he's, he's a Broadway baby and he's going to be great in the show. And then you can make sure we'll see what other tricks Stephen has up the sleeve. Mm -hmm. So when you do shows like Christmas Day in San Diego, do we ever whip out the the, the, the Barbara Christmas album? Do we? Do oh, yes, for sure. I mean, I, I not every year, but every other year I try and do the Christmas show in New York and it has jingle bells and all the standards and but then in the christmas show i do a take on like i don't remember christmas as a sort of angry you know song from barbara's past and yeah it, and then and then somebody wrote a, a wonderful song for me a christmas song which i've been singing in all the christmas shows since that was written for me so that was exciting somebody writing something for me you know so many people have taken this idea and ran with it but i remember you have been doing this, like you said, for a moment. And you've really come up with this Long idea time. and had to fight through, I'm sure, a lot of crappy gigs. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> I've changed in a lot of bathrooms. Yes, you know, no pay. As a dressing and room, yeah. Oh, I've seen it all in my dear, yeah. My mem my memoirs, I'm, gonna, I'm working on them. <laughs> well, we want to hear those stories story. one day for sure. That is yeah. definitely the case. I want to come down and see the show. I need to see this because- Oh, I please do. I think you'll have a great time. I will sing along every word as I'm sure the whole entire audience does. <laughs> November 8th, go to 54below.org. And if you're not in this area, go to Simply Barbara. You know how she spells it, B-A-R-B-R-A. -R -R -A. Yes, I always have to spell it to people over the phone if they can't. Like, try sand, like sand on a beach. Exactly. 
you you know <laughs> i know my stry sand and you need to get yourself over to 54 below and make sure to check it out steven it's such an honor to talk to you i'm such a fan of your work oh thank you you too i'm thrilled uh, to do this i appreciate you and we'll see you on stage in the full okay. get up <laughs> sounds good Well, folks, welcome to the roundtable. My name is Robert Bannon. I'm so excited to be here with you today. We have a cabaret superstar legend with us today. Are you a Babs fan? I love Barbara. I've seen Barbara twice. Once I saw her at Madison Square Garden, maybe three times. Once I saw her at Madison Square Garden and Oprah was there. So good. Oh, my God. When Oprah walked in, we erupted. Barbara is a legend. And so is, so is Simply Barbara, which is coming to 54 Below on November 8th. We love Steven Brinsberg. He's been doing this for 162 years. He would just say the same thing. We're such fans and such, uh, we love music here. You know, I have music out. You can stream my music. It's called Rewind, wherever music is heard. We do the Rainbow Connection. Barbara did a cover of that. We do music that is of that vein. I love cabaret. I love my own cabaret show. Robert Bannon's Christmas special, December 9th at Chelsea Table and Stage. I hope you can be there and get tickets. I am so excited for this chat. We had a good, quick little chat to get you all ready for Simply Barber, 40 Years of Yentl, and the memoir. Take a peek. There you have it. Sometimes you have an idea, you change in a bathroom, you put on a wig, and you're a cabaret superstar. You never know what might happen. I hope to see you at the show. Go to robertbannon.com, B-A-N-N-O-N.com to get more information about me or follow me at Robert M. Bannon over on Instagram. You can see the shows, you can hear the music, and you can join us every single day, week, month, year over here at the roundtable with me. Uh, we are on the Broadway Podcast Network, and we're on YouTube, and I hope you'll stick around and check us out. Till next time, the best is yet to come. Good night, everybody.